We are in Quartzsite at the 2019 Big Tent and RV Show. And this is our second year in a row coming here, but for those of you that have never been, we wanna show you what it's all about. So come on. Wait, it's this way. So first off, Jenny and I are pretty sure that every single rig at this show is from the same dealership, RV Country, which is pretty impressive. I don't know how many people they've got to put on to you know, get all these rigs here, because there's just an incredible amount. But anyway, um, right when you walk into the show, you're just met with these high dollar rigs, class A's, you know, 40, 45 feet long, just it ain't happening for Jenny and I. So we don't we don't spend too much time here. We don't really want to waste any salesman's time because these are just way out of our price range, but they are really cool to look at for a little bit of time. Look at the outside of them. See how nice and how big they are. But then we basically move on. And just as you're getting ready to walk into the big tent, they start teasing us with these big, beautiful fifth wheels. So we walk down and we see these giant Montanas behind us. And if you guys followed us in the beginning, you knew that we were kind of drooling over a Montana in the beginning. It'd be pretty cool to have. So it's awesome to come down here and look at all these big fifth wheels. And coming to a show like this gives you so many options. You can look through things, you can get ideas of what you want and maybe narrow it down even. And now, I gotta go in one, you know, for old time's sake, and so I can drool all over it. I gotta tell you, these Montanas are so beautiful inside. And not only do they warranty these for full-time RVers, but now they're actually catering to them? This is obviously catered to a full-time RVer that still works or wants to work in some sense. So they've built in a desk into the entertainment center. How cool is that? I've never seen that before. That is so cool. And it has so many little things that are cool. It has upward storage, it has a wine rack, it has the biggest pantry I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, there's so much storage here. Plus it comes with a king bed and there's a TV in the bedroom. I mean, come on, this thing has everything. But, 90,000 MSRP? Come on, even if we wanted this and we're actually considering buying it, it wasn't gonna happen anyway. But, you know. I like to fantasize. <laughs> now this is a different Montana than the one we were just in, but I just had to show you guys because I've never seen this before. Men, my guys, look at all this storage. Look at this. This is like a freaking garage. You could fit everything in our eight foot truck bed in here and more. And look at this. This baby slides out. Oh yeah. That's nice. Not only is it a home on wheels, but it's also a garage on wheels. Montanas, man. Yeah, they're nice. All right, enough about Montanas. We've spent enough time on those. If you, have, if you can't tell, we kind of like them. Uh, but, you know, they really don't fit our style of RVing at all. And even if they did, we can't afford those. And here I go, talking about them again. All right, I'm done. We're back at the big tent, but before we head in, we're gonna get some food because we are so hungry and thankfully there is no shortage of food at this show.
So under the tent is kind of like a convention slash flea market all jammed into one. You know, they've just got about, they've got just about everything here, you know, selling insurance, vacation places. You can get information on state parks uh, in Arizona. They're selling four by fours, flag poles, things that are RV related, not RV related. There's really just about everything under the tent. So if you like looking around at things, then, you know, this is kind of cool. And, and that's basically what Jenny and I have been doing the whole time is just seeing what's for sale here. It's pretty neat. But for us, the real reason we're here is to check out the RVs. So it's time for us to get out of the tent and go see the trailers that are more in our price range, things that we may actually find ourselves in. Now the last portion of the RV show that we're going to check out and that we're going to show you is actually kind of hidden away. And last year it was too, so I know it's not just a coincidence. Now on the north side of the big tent event, um, north of the Montanas that we showed you earlier, there's this little entrance and there's a little bar nearby, but this is where there are a bunch of used trailers. I'm sure some of them are new, but they're all for sale too. And they're much more likely to be in our price range for us to look at, but they have Toy haulers, fifth wheels, travel trailers, class B's, class C's, class A's, basically everything you can think of. And it's huge and it's not busy here, but that also means that there aren't very many salesmen out this way too. Which can be a good thing. <laughs> it can be a good thing if you want some privacy looking through them. But yeah, this is the section that we liked to go through last year and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun going through this year too. Okay, okay, now if I were a solo traveler, I would have something like this, but not with Jenny and not with a bunch of animals. Not that I want to get rid of them or anything for something like this, but I don't know, just the flexibility of these class Bs. They always get me so revved up because you can go anywhere in something like this, especially if it's four wheel drive. Come on, come on. And especially what I like about this one that I haven't seen before, but just, I got really excited when I saw it is the hood of it or the roof of it literally pops up and it's a sleeper up here so that you have this whole sleeping area and I think that's pretty awesome yeah but what I get really excited about with these class B's is just the flexibility because I don't know that's just that's what just gets me really amped up is just unlimited flexibility you can go out in the middle of literally nowhere and camp and live out there where Jenny and I kind of do that already with our trailer and our truck, but we are limited to certain places because we are, you know, a little bigger than something like this. So we can't get just, we can't get anywhere. There have been some places where I've, where I've said, I really want to go out there, but we can't. Uh, but in something like this, you can. Now, Granted, there's not a lot of living space, which is what I said I'd have to be by myself. And yeah, multiple people living in here, especially with Sweetie, big dog, that's probably not gonna work. But yeah, these class Bs, just the thought of that infinite flexibility really gets me all revved up. Are you gonna divorce me now? No, nah, I like having you around. All right, good. Yeah. So how much do they want for it? You don't want to know. 98,000! Well, that's a little much. Yeah. There goes that dream. That dream is squashed. Squashed. Now, David may have his ridiculously small, teeny tiny Class B man alone out in the woods fantasy with the kind of RV he wants or fantasizes about. I, on the other hand, have something that's just a little more practical in mind. Come on, I'll show you. Whoop, there's a step there. Uh. I kind of fantasize about Class C's a little bit, and this one's only 24 feet. I don't know, I think that it has all the comforts of our current RV and then some. It's got um, a nice queen size bed in the back. This entire thing is a slide over here. It has a huge closet. I'm, I'm serious, it has a huge closet. It's insane. I could climb in there. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> I will. It has the same size fridge that we have. It has an awesome pantry with like these slide out drawers. Those are so cool. I don't know. This just has kind of everything that I'm looking for in an RV or a trailer, but it's also small and it would fit in a parking spot. So 
I think this is a little more practical. Plus, it's got this up here, which is like a second bed, even though it has a queen size bed in the back. And we could do like storage up here or something, which would be perfect for us. With like a tow behind Jeep or something. That'd be cool. Wow, okay. <laughs> now you're throwing a Wrangler into it. <laughs> And now, okay, now, well, now she's throwing the Wrangler into the situation. I think I can, I think I can work with that, right? Back in Moab, the old Jeep jealousy. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, well, you know, the classy is starting to look a little better. Can't you see it yeah, just I can, a little bit? I can see it, I can see it. Well, how much do they want for this one? Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, that doesn't even say. I see a sticker anywhere. $100,000, I'm going to assume. <laughs> I decided to search online because they don't have the MSRP paper in here, and it looks like this year and model is going for about 60000 So still very much out of our price range. Well, used though. You just gotta used. search around for a used one. These are all used. This is a year old trailer. Uh, 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 An older used trailer is what you mean, right? No, no. sure. <laughs> it doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't class even these, matter. Class D's are expensive, David. They're just expensive, so. We can all fantasize though, you know. But I like our trailer, I really Dream. do. Squash! Ah! <laughs> now you get it! Dang it! And that's basically the quartzite big tent and RV show. You've got your one section of super expensive RVs right at the beginning. You've got the big tent itself, and then you've got the other section of what I would call more affordable RVs. It's a great place to walk around in if you, know, you just really haven't decided what type of rig you want yet because they really do have one of everything. And if you spend enough time touring rigs, you're bound to find something that suits you. And also, you know, just putzing around in the big tent, looking at all the random things they've got for sale in there is fun. And, you know, if there's an RV product that, you know, you want to talk to someone about that you've got questions on, odds are someone's selling it in there. But, you know, Jenny and I have spent all day there. Time to head back to the rig. See you guys next time. Bye.